dollars, you know, as a kid who, you know, very in shape, you know, just one of the top athletes. But all of a sudden, I've been getting headaches, like dizzy spells, and I went to the emergency room and got checked out. Um, the guy did blood work, waited about a few minutes, and the guy comes to me, he's like, oh, um, you have a kidney failure, I don't know to tell you this, but I mean, your kidneys are about maybe 1% alive. If you would have came in later, then, you know, it would have been the end of you. The original plan was to put me on a list for a kidney transplant. Because I'm young and all that, I would be on top of the list and wait for a, perhaps a cadaver or like some other living donor to give me a kidney. But my brother actually is like, you know what? He's suffering for too long. I'm going to step up. Basically, I would go to doctor's appointments every month and get blood checked out and make sure you know everything was going great for me. He went in for his test, had to make sure everything was okay with him. Everything went great. There was no issues at all. And we're all set for a transplant. After uh, the hospital, I uh, got home. They told me to take another month off just to you know, make sure I get in health, you know, check my blood work and all that, see what they're going to do with me. I felt like a new guy. I felt you know, better than ever. I'm actually in the best shape of my life. So basically in judo, there's no striking, no punches, no kicks. So it's a better alternative like to other sports, but to transplant, you know, it's like that organ becomes gold to you. It's like you have to protect it, you have to watch over it. So he told me, you know, I can purchase an abdomen guard. That way I can protect the whole area. There's a solution where I get to continue living life the way I did before any problems. Everything in moderation, basically. I can't, you know, go overboard with foods. Talking about the medications, they're there to make sure my body doesn't attack the kidney. I take it twice a day, you know, 10 a.m., 10 p.m. I have an alarm on my cell phone that will remind me when to take them, so they really don't get in the way much. Throughout the whole transplant, I talked to my social worker a lot, and we would just talk about, you know, how your medications are doing, how's life, how are your friends. Very supportive team. If it weren't for them helping me out, you know, it would have been a lot different. So right now, I had to take a gap year from college, unfortunately, but it's fine. I ended up getting a job. I'm going to the gym a lot, make sure I get in shape. After I'm ready to get out into the world, I'm going to go to school, pursue psychology, and from there, you know, I'm going to try to you know, expand horizons. Life really isn't over for me. I'm still young, still a teenager, and I have a long way to go.